going on, y'all? Trev Dev back with some more NFL Head Coach 09, our Lions franchise. Picking this up right where I left off the last episode. Uh, we dropped a game to Green Bay, and Calvin Johnson got hurt for two weeks, dislocated elbow. So hopefully we can get back to our winning ways here on the road against San Francisco. So, like I said, picking this up literally right when I left off. So I know one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, get rid of our backup running back because he effectively cost us the game. So Ryan Abrams, get out of here. You're, you're gone. So scour the... I'm curious to see who will bid on him. Pick Is this card. somebody that we want to try to acquire? No. Well, there's two teams. They're going to sign him for like three times as much as he was making. Uh, okay, so you're, suit yourself, guys. Like I get he's young and he's not terrible, but fumbled the game away. Wow, they're gonna sign him for two million? Goodness. Two point one? How high are they gonna go? Two point two? But he must really fit into their scheme. I don't know if I've ever seen a, a bidding more like this for a random running back. So let's scout some linebackers. And somebody on the left side to compliment Ernie Sims once he gets back. San Francisco, what do they do? It says passing 91%, huh? Not very much doubt that, but they do have Mike Martz as their offensive coordinator. Presumably, I'm not sure if he's still there, but that's who they start out with in this game. I strongly recommend increasing our depth right here. I agree. Sign <laughs> Charles, Fern Haynes. I mean, I think we honestly just go with Kevin Falk. You know, he'll be our best. I wonder if I can sign another guy. Just out of curiosity. Pick up another receiver, maybe. Yeah, maybe not. Hey, David Tyree. Sign some offensive line depth, perhaps, instead. Maybe not the worst idea. Find a good pass blocker. There do not appear to be any. No, our roster is full. I, I, I thought that's what it was going to be. Going to look at the weekly awards. Sure, we didn't win any. No, you have the AJ Hall. Not surprising. He had pick and a fumble recovery. Let's so, take a look at our depth chart. When I have Kevin Falk. The Niners team. told me they were working on shutting down their opponent's most successful plays in practice today. They're particularly concerned about what their opponent does in third and short situations. Wouldn't be the worst idea to have him as a starter, at least for this game. I think I might go back to Warren after uh, once he comes back. I'm not gonna bench Cam apparently. Keep him a start. Same thing with Jordan D's on, we're keeping him. He's playing well. I don't know why they're saying he's strong. Gotta re-sign Elsa. Okay, well, next time I'll just give him the contract that he wants, because I really would like to keep him. Hey, Coach, what are we focusing on today? I think, anyways. Gonna pause for a second. All right, I'm back. Probably was no time at all for you, but it was a few minutes for me. So, yeah, we're going to start Kevin Falk, I think, this first game here. Move back to Jarvis Warren. Probably after he comes back. Both fellows, I said we're not going to resign him, I don't think. Edwin Mulitalo, 35 years old. Just not worth that contract, I don't think, at this stage. Probably find somebody who's younger, going to stick around for a few more years. It's not quite as expensive. The Denver Broncos think he's scheduled a press conference for 1 p.m. Eastern to announce the re-signing of one of the team's key players. I need to find some centers that are not going to be hurt all the time. <laughs> Demarcus McDaniels will try to, try to get him on contract. 
can go a little bit higher on him, if I'm, if I'm being honest. I'm not even really going to pay him more than a million dollars a year. Let's go with, let's go with this one. I don't think he's going to be our starter. But again, the incentives, if he, if he does, be our, if he's our What do you think we should work on today? A little bit. I guess it could be the worst thing in the world. Take a look at the standings, and we're tied with the Bears in record. Of course, we have a tiebreaker over them. Still top 10 in the NFL. But uh, there's quite a number of teams that are probably a little better. I mean, we have a good record, but... Eh, I don't know. I would say we're... Certainly, we're probably about where you would expect us to be. Count Falcons only scored 66 points through five games, and yet they're one, a three and two. Thanks to their defense. <laughs> the best in the league. Our offense is killing it, but our defense. We gotta, gotta show up our defense here. We're bottom, I think that's eighth or tenth, ninth or tenth. You could count, but who cares about counting, right? Yeah, some better playbook challenge. I think we wanted to re-sign him, right? Yeah, that sounds right. We can, get, we can go with the incentive package for him as well. Yeah, he's probably not going to get it. I still want him for 350 over five, or over six, and 500. Thousand dollar signing books. I don't know if he's going to take it. Not going to, not going to resign Charlie Day. I don't think at this point. New England's general manager told reporters this afternoon that negotiations between the team and a key player have for the foreseeable future ended. He didn't rule out the two parties sitting down later on in the season to work out a deal, but right now, it looks like a long shot at best. Performance level three with Hackett. That's always a good sign. Let's, see, let's get the intangibles development for Kitty Brown. Pretty close to getting performance level three with Mike Johnson. George Edwards, man, I'd love to upgrade him, but for now let's get the physical development. Okay. Still nothing with he's, he's growing, you know, chip down is growing. I would like to get level four performance with him as soon as we can. And yeah, nothing for our GM or our trainer. So we're making incremental upgrades to our staff. Taking a look. Let's move you down one spot here for this team just because Calvin Johnson's out. I don't want to have any weirdness with the depth chart. Sometimes it gets a little funky when you have someone who's supposed to be out there at the wide receiver four and the tight end position. It doesn't really like that very much. And some good progression on our guys. Hope to get Ernie Sims back soon. You know, I can, I can probably do something. See any real reason why we can't bring him back for, for cheap? I really don't like my IGN. <laughs> Tough sledding. The 49ers told me they've been working with their offensive line in practice today. Their goal has been to fine-tune their pass protection, guaranteeing that their quarterback has plenty of time to make the read. Hi, I'm Mike Holmgren, and you're watching the NFL Network. The Detroit Lions finished today's practice on a high note, implementing the final pieces of their game plan. I spoke to their coaching staff this evening, and it told me that the team is prepared and ready for this weekend. John Gruden, you're watching you want to the Hey, look at that. Accepted it. <laughs> That's the super cheap offer. Thank you very much. Victor Miller, I mean, this is signing in for peanuts as well. And again, like I said last episode, you know, you get cheap players that are young, you know, mid-70s, low-80s for multi-year contracts, less than $500,000 a year. It's probably a good idea to keep them around just because they have the playbook knowledge and everything like that.
that are inactives from today. Keep Hickson on for the first game of the season. Hey, Dan Campbell's back. It's always good to see. Foster down. Shumate, maybe. Coffee as well. And then Campbell. Take a look at who they have. And check their uh, coaching stats real quick. I'm curious who they are, their coaches. He is still Mike Nolan. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not very good in this game, but, you know. Whatever. <laughs> Alex Smith is their quarterback. I wonder how he's doing. Probably pretty well. He. The Mike Mars playbook in this game is super strong in the uh, simulations. I mean, 40 touchdowns last year, not doing quite as hot this year. Gore is hurt, so Darnley's probably their starter. And Moose and Muhammad and Mike Wright, Matthew Wright. Tight ends, not very good. They do have Joe Staley. Outside of that, their offensive line is pretty weak. I'm guessing they're a 3 4, they have Smith and Williams. Patrick Willis, of course. Nate Clements, they have pretty good corners, but uh, all in all, their team is fairly weak. So I would hope that we can bounce back today, pull out a victory it's on the West Coast. It's game time. So, once again, if I'm looking at like a theoretical spread, of course, going on the West Coast is a little difficult, but I think we would probably be favored. You know, maybe we pick them or minus three for the Lions. But we can't get cocky, can't get cocky. Yeah. Once came back last game, pulled out a victory. This time we got hope to play a little cleaner and get a victory. <laughs> Welcome to San Francisco for today's game. Tails never fails, except for today we call heads. Ah, tails never fails. Should have gone with it. Again, if you're new to the series, uh, we're doing this, you know, first series on offense. All right, defense, let's kick it off. Going from there, you know, as we feel out, we super sim the majority of the game, play some drives here and there, and late quarter stuff, and we have a chance to come back, pull out a victory, maybe get a defensive touchdown or safety or something like that. Well, Marvin Lewis, to dial up some good plays today, huh? What do you say? What do you say, man? Good weak side pressure. Who got that tackle? Who got that tackle? Got a good crack there. Vernon Golson, that's what I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. It's played by Vernon Golson, though. Let's see if he can make another stop. Send in some pressure from the secondary and slot for Or maybe a free safety, actually. Smith taking off. It's a block in the back, sir. On Dizon. Nice tackle. At least I think that's Jordan Dizon. Either way, a very good tackle. It was indeed. Right, number 92. That's a weird number for the lineup back in the day. Uh, mid 50s when they're a middle linebacker, I thought. Let's get some pressure here. Let's let's get a stop here. Three and out. We haven't had too many of those recently. Oh, Dizon is a nice pressure. I did complete the yeah, pass, but baby, it's nice play. All right. So so with the breath. Assuming they're going to punt the ball, we do get a three and out. Very nice. That's the way to start defense, you know. That's the way to start. Can't really tell how good that was a punt. Didn't seem like it was the best. Hey, it was a fair catch. And let's... Go offense. We struggled last game in the first half. Picked it up in the second. Let's, Look deep. let's keep the momentum going and start off hot here in the second. Or in the first half of this game. And some slants. 
Roy Williams who gets absolutely clobbered by the safety. Don't blame him for not being able to hold on to that one. Would have been nice. Yeah, can't ask him to hold on to that one. Oh, that's Mark's Friday, never mind. That's right. Mm. Roy Williams would be on the right side. It's Kevin Johnson's there. So Mark's Friday would be the Quick right, 526 drag. I don't know which one's which. I think Y is on the right next to on the left. Maybe. And then C is the slot. I don't know. Football terminology too well. Uh, Williams coming across. And man coverage almost surely. There we go. Roy Williams picks up. Eight that's yards, how that play's supposed to be run right there. Third and one. Just short, just short. I have full confidence we pick this one up. I don't like the stretch play, to be honest. I like it. Uh, like an eye form, you know, between the tackles. Tight zone. Here's the call. I, 40 gut. See Kevin Falk back there. He is. Let's see how our veteran that we just signed off the street does here. First carry of the game. Good pressure by Patrick Willis, but Mark, uh, Marshall, Marshall Falk. I wish it was Marshall, Marshall Falk. Kevin Got Falk it. picks up the first down. Okay, Marshall Falk. That'd be amazing. <laughs> nice little run there. Don't need to okay. know that play. You know? Just hand the ball up and, and get the first down. That's all you got to tell him. Good pressure up the middle. I don't know who that is, but he is not looking like One inch at a time, Charlie fellas. Day. We'll win this thing one inch at a time. Notice that. I didn't comment it on the past few games because I thought my eyes were deceiving me. Yeah, sometimes the models in this game are a little bit weird. All right, Let's guys, say. we're going deep. Got your receivers, AC85. Looks like a lineman. <laughs> sometimes you get linemen that look like they're running backs. I didn't think that played this, this draft pass, but I guess it does. I know the Oz Jones one is particularly bad. They're sending in a ton of blitzes, but it's all right. Benjamin Watson puts a guy on the ground. Put a stiff arm by the tight end. Only four yards, but I think the demoralization of the big time stiff arm is a little bit better than the Look three yards we got there. Just look at 85 on the outside, man. Dude is the biggest receiver of all time. Width-wise. <laughs> Should be playing tight end. Yeah, they're sending blitzes. Relentless on the blitzes. He's going deep over the middle. Benjamin Watson tried a weird one-handed grab when he was 10 yards away from the ball. Remember that guy running with him and had the coverage on lockdown. He's not a great play. All right, guys. So we're one deep. Try to attack the middle instead here. I wish this, man, I really wish this camera was just a little further back. Good blitz pickup by the by the running back Kevin Falls allows us to pick up the first down. Is that Dixon? Is that his first grab of the year? I think it might be. Yeah. Hickson, I thought it was Dixon. Dominique Hickson. First grab of the year. That's why I was waiting to call the play. I wanted to make sure I give proper props to my guys, you know? The players that we draft and we put them in the system. Sending corner blitzes. Nobody over there. Charlie Day, all like, looking like 300 That's pounds it, to the outside. Now we're cooking. <laughs> the big, big, big wide receiver. Nice little first down. Got a good rhythm working here on this drive. Look See deep. if he can punch it into the end zone. Take advantage of the, the three and out that we forced. Safeties are maybe coming down. No, not back up. Nice little comeback. It's Roy Williams, I think. Yes, Roy Williams, indeed. Only three yards. But short completions can really put you into a rhythm. Let's go single dive. back, 20 dive. It's been a little bit since we've caught a run. Of course, they've got their alignment in. Maybe not quite as much as I thought they did. They got good pressure, but Kevin Falk, only two yards. I thought it was going to be a negative play, to be honest. Luckily, we're not in manageable third and five. Droppers, right, miss with the droppers. They don't ever seem to work in this game. Hit Hickson. I think Hickson's going to be open here. 
Strong safety is bearing down. Is he going to blitz? He's not. Hit the running back. Hit the running back. Hit the running back. Hit him. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Darren Sproles. He jukes him out. He not team quite in. He's down. Got to throw that ball a little bit quicker there, dude. But I will take it. We're down on the one. You know what time it is. It's time for that QB sneak, baby. Let's brush this ball. We're on the half yard line. I got full faith that Luke Ram is going to get the touchdown here to put us up 7 0 early in the first. Indeed, he does. Didn't what a last play. Time. He nice last play game. offense. This time, in for six. All right, guys, let's kick Where'd the field go? goal. Where'd go, my friends? Where'd go? There we go. Hey, look at that, late bottom of the pick. We've been missing that the past few games. Mm -hmm. Penalties forced us to a punt. It is what it is. We're up 7 0, going into the second quarter. We're on a good drive. Well, maybe not quite as much as I thought we were going to be. Fumble, and you're down. Too many fumbles in this game, man. Only two percent. But defense holds, forces them into a field. Goal. Right. No more turnovers, guys. No more turnovers. There we go. Hickson with another nice grab. Kevin Falk. Come on, get it into the end zone. There we go. Roy wins with the touchdown. Luke Rambus leads this down. Let's get one more stop here, guys. Let's get the ball back so we can run down. One more touchdown before the half, maybe? Let's be risky. Let's be risky. And we run for a two yard loss. Should have ran it up there, though. Should have hopped in and run that QB sneak. And what do you know? They get a touchdown because we went to be aggressive, probably in not very sensible fashion. Let's recover. Let's recover. Nice return by Darren Sproles. Jukes the guy, but not quite as much as any work. Drove down last time we were we were calling plays. Let's do that one more time. Okay, we're passing. Of course he said we were calling plays, but we were just asking. Hey, what do you want to do? He's open. I mean, I'll take it. Ooh, nice play. Marcus Friday. Good job, in. offense. Just like we drew it up. Five, right? 88. Look deep. Not sure who that was. I think that was Marcus Friday. Yes. Okay. Good thing I know who Marcus Friday is. <laughs> what is this camera view? Can't see anything. Hits him in the legs. What are you doing with this? Sometimes the throws that he makes, I question. All right, guys, we're going deep. Pressure right there, but it doesn't matter. Roy Williams with a nice pickup. It's going to be. F no, they're calling that a first down. I don't think there's any way that he got he got the sticks there. But if they're going to call it, I will take it. Come on, let me call a play here. Let me call a play here. We've got to, we've got to sprint down the field. We've got to, we've got to go a little bit quicker than we're going. we got three timeouts. You know, we get a nice pickup here. We can, we can, we can burn one of them. Can't take them in half times. So not bad. That was, a, that was an awful throw. Probably should have been picked. But instead, he hits the... I think that's a linebacker that probably sank in the coverage. Hits him right in the head. Maybe he's saying, you know what? I know you're not going to pick it. 
All right, guys. Throw into his face and demoralize him a little further. Probably not what happened there, but that's what I choose to believe. Another interception, man. Pick six bug is really eating us alive the past couple games. Ty stepping into the end zone. Unfortunate. Sloppy. Real sloppy. I hate to tell him. Probably <sighs> can't have nice things, man. A veto at that play, I think. Little short passes across the middle. Oh, it's never seen to work in this game. And drag routes, maybe. We're gonna go short. It's got to be outside the hash. Decent return there. Decent return there. Huh? Like that. You know, All right, here's the call. Rifle. Short. Scram yeah. right. Zero seven zero corner. Anytime. Throw it to the outside, you know, with our guys in the slot here. Look at that, you know, not the worst. Time! Fix. Call time! Time out! Hey, jeez, calm down. <laughs> okay, we're passing. Like in day there, I mean, it's a little nice. Find him in the corner, Blitz. Find him, find him, find him. That's who I thought he was going to, that's who I would have thrown it to probably as well. Bit of a dangerous throw. Fortunately, he's not Calvin Johnson or Boyd Williams, even though it's Friday. Who I would have been much more confident if they would have been able to catch that. That's Charlie Day. He's had some nice plays every now and then. Look deep. Yeah, three, three guys going deep. Including our top two. No, 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 not top two. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Thank you, sir. Hold on to the ball. Let's go. There we go. Call time That's out again. how you run it. Time out again. Who is that? Is that, is that I wasn't trying to date, was it? I'm not sure. Okay, we're passing. Just to fix him again. He's made some plays, man. Maybe we could think about moving him up to the fourth receiver instead of Charlie Day. Not saying for sure, but oh, beautiful pass. <laughs> As I was saying, Charlie Day. You know. Talk about moving him out of the depth chart, and there he goes, making a big 25 yard grab. Durandus. I don't hate audibling, but it's taking up a ton of time. Find him, find him, find him. Almost threw a pick. Almost threw a pick. There's crossing routes over the deep middle. They just never work at this game. Trying to find something deep here. Just keep it on the down low. Thank you, Scat okay. XD. Passing. All right, go to play. We need a deep pass. Roy Williams on the outside. Maybe. Maybe Fixon. Going deep as well. It's not who I would have thrown to, but, you know, we're going to have a chance to. Okay, time out. Time out! Time this game up. Just waiting for a second. Three seconds here. One inch at a time, fellas. We'll win this thing one inch at a time. You know, he bounces back once Send again. Send out the kicker. And Alexis Cerno misses once again. Very makeable field. 39 yards, and he botches it once again, man. We're moving on for him. I gotta check the waiver wire. I might I might just cut him after this game because he has been just awful. I like drafting him, he's got a big leg, but man, we gotta find someone who's a little bit more accurate. Oh, what was that? Let's see if our kick return can do something, huh? Maybe, maybe they can give us a jolt of energy here. It's twice that we've had a chance to drive down and tie the game at the end of the half or the end of the fourth quarter. And it's twice that Alexis Cerna has missed. 
We just can't be having that if we're going to be a division winner and you know, compete for Super Bowl. There you go, Mark's Friday. When in doubt, just throw it to him. Or take a 10 yard sack. Ooh, beautiful punt. You no, know, they're down another three. Let's see if our defense can force the safety here. Just let Marvin Lewis call the play. He knows what he's doing. Kind of. Although recently, our defense has not been playing up snuff. Today, I mean, they've only allowed 10 points. One of the touchdowns they got with the pick six. Great pressure by Dizon. Call it, call it, call it. Yes, there we that's go. It, baby. Nice play. Two safeties on the year in the first half of the season. That's big time. That's big time. Jordan Dizon. Wow, did you guys see that? that Incredible. Position. Dude's a beast. Dude is a beast this year. Already defensive player of the week against the, uh, the Bears. The Browns. Now he gets a safety. Gets his two points. He's going to set us up inside Niner territory. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go for a strike. Let's go. Let's go. Look deep. Not running the counter play. Just like I said, last episode. Counter plays, no blame. Find him, find him, find him, find him. He found him, he found him. And he throws a pick to the safety once again. Come on, guys. Somebody find out why the heck we're throwing like high school kids. Yeah, you tell him, Paul. Paul Rank. Getting his ear on the sideline, man. Overthrowing once again. I can't believe that just happened. I'm getting his ear that time. The defense holds, forces the punt. There we go. Getting to another rhythm, Rambus. So I like to see. That's not what I like to see, however. Another interception. And they pick up a first down. Man, they're just picking up huge plays. Get down. Couldn't quite hit. All right, Rambus. Another freaking pick six. You've got to be kidding me. Three interceptions this game, I think. Is that four? I think it's three. Yeah, that is incredibly frustrating. I can live with some interceptions sometimes. You know, you're being aggressive. I can't live with the pick six. I cannot live with the pick sixes, dude. There we go. It's run about 58 times. That is nuts. I did not realize I threw the ball much. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Nope. Oh. Need to pick up a touchdown here. Come on, guys. That might be it. I jumped into the games because I didn't. Man, I'm picking up first downs like it's nothing. Right, they missed a field goal. We got a minute left to score two touchdowns. We're going to pull this one out. It's going to be America. And Luke Rambus is going to have like 75 passing attempts. Okay. So it happens when We're our starting running back is out. We pick up a guy off the street. So I'm not confident in giving the ball to Darren Sproles too much. Where's the protection? Want to add one of these plays to our playbook? Where's the protection? Ontario's Thomas with the set. All right, guys, we're going deep. All right, all right. Let's, let's, let's pull out a miracle, guys. We need a touchdown in the next like, three plays. We're going to have a shot to win this game. Who got hurt this time? Mike Peterson. Yeah, just a second tight end. Throw the ball, dude. You got to throw the ball. Severely underthrown. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hate these plays. Look deep. This is after we upgraded our offensive coordinator's performance to three. And he's playing like trash. Luckily he found Darren Sproles out of the backfield. He's gonna make 
something, some type of miracle. I've seen out. Pee Wee Leagues pass better than this. Because I know we really do need to keep it tight. I don't know if that ends the, uh, the timeouts. Just in case okay. we score and stop my defense. At this stage, I just don't see that happening. So I figure let's just give ourselves the best chance to score here and hope for a miracle outside kick recovery. Outside, hit him outside, hit him outside. All right, all right, he picks it up, he picks it up. All right, guys, we're going deep. Time out, time out! Time out, time out, time out, time out. Coach, what are you thinking? Call a timeout. I'm thinking what I'm I already called a timeout. Okay, we're passing. Shaking my head, man. Nate Clements has been a beast all game. It's called Hail Mary. All right, guys, we're going deep. Screw it, you know. If the Hail Mary can't bring us home, then I don't know what can. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Roy Williams almost picked off once again by Nate Clements. Got a little lucky that it wasn't. I really, I'm not going to go out of this game with another interception. That would be... Not very good. Oh, no, no. Look deep. Sending in the pressure for some reason. We pick up the first down. Timeout. Okay, timeout. Timeout. Yeah, no kidding, dude. I mean. I don't know, let's go scat on it. Alright guys, we're going deep. Whatever this place is called, I don't know. There's too many words. Throw it in the end zone. Or take a sack. No, no, he doesn't. And unfortunately, we could not throw it into the end zone. I'd really just like to get another score here, please. I'm throwing a Hail Mary out okay. here. Okay, passing. Why? I don't know. Why not? So here's how it's going to work. We're going to score a touchdown. It's going to be four seconds left. Three seconds left. We're going to move the onside kick. Two seconds left. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. All right, well, we get the All right. PAT. The available. passing unit's doing a great job moving the chains. So it's going to look a little respectable. A little more respectable here at the end. I might as well go for two just in case. So I think the onside kick will take more than one second, uh, however. Look deep. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I've ever actually recovered an outside kick. But, you know, if there, by some miracle, we get it here. Let's go for two on this play. And then if we fail it, and we somehow get another touchdown. We can go for two. Or we kick the extra point if we get it here. Throw it. Right, he got it. Come on. we got to get it in the end zone. So we're within six. Obviously, we have to go with the onside here. It's a defining moment. <laughs> onside kick. I'm pretty sure this takes more than one second. Could be wrong, though. Really needed like three seconds on the clock. Oh, there's a shot, there's a shot, there's a shot. No, I like it. Strip it, strip it. Oh. Let's get the ball to our playmakers and finish strong. Well, this one's over. Yes, it is. Well, that's an unfortunate turn of events. I think this game has showed that we really need to get Jarvin Warren back. Because our run game has... You know, we've lost all three games when he's been out. So, you know, Rambus threw the ball way too many times. <laughs> That's got to be an NFL record, right? 72 attempts? That's nuts. I did have four touchdowns, but four picks. Two pick sixes. That was, that was probably the reason why we lost the game, to be honest. I mean, 
<sighs> yeah, we're not we're not forcing the turnovers like we were early in the season too. We had one pick today. But early in the season we were crushing it from a, a turnover perspective, so I mean they they sat back, we played relatively conservative ball it seems. I mean we didn't have like we had some good drives here and there, but it's not like they were crushing us on that offense. It's just those picks, man. We didn't have those two pick sixes, I mean we would have won this game just flat out. So, it's a little disappointing. Drop our third game in a row. Hopefully we can come back next time out and get back to our winning ways. That's what we got hope for at this point. Uh, let's see who we're playing. Well, we'll play Green Bay uh, at home this time. We got our bye week coming up so yeah unfortunately you know we're, we're hit a bit of a, 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 rock, a rocky stretch you know as to be expected we got a rookie quarterback but hopefully we can you know use these two weeks to game plan uh get Jarvin Warren back get Calvin Johnson back maybe even get Ernie Sims back I don't know yet but uh yeah hopefully like I said hopefully we can get back to our winning ways but until then if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to give me a like comment or subscription next time we'll go through the, the bye week and then have a rematch with the Packers. Till then, see you.